Hello everyone. The aim of uh, the class today is to equip you with the knowledge of psychology, the definition of psychology and the scope of psychology. Psychology is concerned with almost all aspects of our lives. The field of psychology deals with behavioral aspects of human beings and that is probably the reason why everyone is interested in understanding the meaning of psychology. On the other hand, there are many misconceptions about psychology also. Many people think that psychology deals with abnormal people only. Some other uh, feel that psychologists can read your mind. Just by looking at your forehead, a psychologist can understand about your life. They tend to equate psychologists with astrologers or numerologists. You might have heard the term psychology, psychological, mental, psycho, etc. But what are all these terms? What is the meaning of all these terms? So what do you think psychology is? Is psychology an art? Is it science? And how did it evolve? What is science and what are its characteristics? What is the subject matter of psychology? So in this unit, what we are going to understand is what is the meaning of psychology? How did the field of psychology evolve? What is the historical background of psychology? So psychology has been defined in a number of ways by various authors. Psychologists have been debating on whether psychology should be the study of mind, consciousness, experience or behavior. So earlier, psychology was a part of philosophy. Psychology came from philosophy. Ancient philosophers were interested in the study of soul. So they defined it as the science of soul. Soul has very wide and comprehensive meanings. It was considered as a vague term and was considered or criticized severely in the Middle Ages. There were questions regarding the physical existence, weight, volume of soul. And people were rather naive to believe in historic terms such as soul, mind and consciousness. It was believed and rightly so that every human being is endowed with a soul that would remain sublime at all times. To a philosopher, soul is a firm foundation upon which ethical values are erected. So the definition of psychology as a study of soul became unacceptable primarily because no convincing proof or evidence of the precise nature of soul was furnished. It was discarded because of its metaphysical nature. It was found inadequate to satisfy the canons of science. So this definition was not accepted by psychologists. So the next psychology was defined as the science of mind by some ancient Greek philosophers. According to them, psychology was held as a branch of mental philosophy. Since this definition does not include a word behavior, a word behavior is what? A word behavior is a behavior which is observable. So uh, it does not include a word behavior of human beings and mind cannot be measured directly. This definition was also dropped by psychology. Only the covert behavior, but no overt behavior. Covert is the inside behavior and overt is the outside behavior. So later psychology was defined as a science of consciousness. According to uh, many psychologists, at one time during the history of psychologists or psychology, it was first that the main business of psychology was the conscious experience. Consciousness makes us conscious or aware of the situation or a thing around us. This definition too is now obsolete. And it has been rejected due to many reasons. Again, consciousness cannot be verified. You cannot measure consciousness. You, can, you cannot see consciousness. 
So, uh, and consciousness, conscious experience is very subjective. So the term consciousness does not include human behavior. The term consciousness also was supposed to have a philosophical tinge and not accepted by the modern scientific minded psychologists. Finally, the modern era has defined psychology as what? The science of behavior. In the early decades of 20th uh, century, Watson, the father of school of behaviorism, defined psychology as a study of behavior. So according to uh, Morgan et al, in 1986, Watson rejected mind as the subject of psychology and insisted that psychology be restricted to the science or study of behavior. And what kind of behavior? The observable or potentially observable activities of people. So Watson held the opinion that there is no essential difference between uh, humans, difference between humans and animal behavior. And that we can learn much about our own behavior from the study of what animals do. Watson emphasized that nothing is innate and everything can be learned. Woodworth, 1948, had stated that first psychology lost its soul, then its mind, and then it lost its consciousness. So here it is with behavior. It still has behavior of sort. And what are the current definitions to it? Psychology today concerns itself with the scientific investigation of behavior, including from the standpoint of behavior to much of what earlier psychologists deal with as experience. Experience which can be objective and subjective. So psychology is a science of human and animal behavior. It includes the application of this science to human problems. It is the scientific study of behavior and mental processes, according to Feldman, 1996. The scientific study of behavior, mental processes. Mental processes is your cognition. Cognition is your thinking. Whatever you do, all the activities, all the mental activities become your mental processes, your cognition. The scientific study of behavior and mental processes and how they are affected by an organism's physical state, mental state and external environment. Psychology is all about human behavior, about mental processes, about the context in which behavior and mental processes occur. The science of behavior and mental processes. A scientific study of behavior and mind. As is the evident in all these definitions, the study of behavior of both humans and animals has been emphasized in all of them. But what is behavior? Now we'll try to understand the nature and characteristics of behavior. Behavior is a broad term and a complex phenomena. So we will try to understand the behavior, behavior of human beings, behavior which can be observed. So behavior includes all those actions and responses of an organism that can be measured directly or indirectly. Behavior not only means bodily movements, but also includes mental and cognitive processes. Like what? Feelings, attitude, emotions, and other internal events, which cannot be observed directly, but indirectly, which can be measured indirectly through what people say and how they react to different problems and situations. Behavior is influenced by a number of factors. What kind of factors? 
biological, cultural, social, environmental, past experiences, motivational, emotional, cognitive. Now when I say cognitive, cognitive is what? Feelings, emotions, thoughts. Behavior varies in complexity. Behavior can be as simple as picking a pen, waving a friend, reflex responses like sneezing. Some other behavior include uh, certain skills which become a habit over a period of time, such as playing guitar, cycling, etc. Yet some behaviors involve complex activities like repairing a car, activities such as landing on the moon, flying a fighter plane, and all, all of them are examples of complex human behavior. The factors influencing behavior are of different kinds. Behavior is influenced by a large set of factors. Those factors which uh, those belonging to the individual and those belonging to the environment. So we say environmental factors affecting behavior and the individual factors in fact influencing the individual. Factors pertaining to an individual can be categorized into physiological or biological needs such as hunger, thirst, etc. And psychological becomes your ideas, opinions and attitudes. The environmental factors include physical surroundings, family, friends, the larger society, even the overall cultural and social background. Individual differences affect behavior, influence behavior. What kind of individual uh, differences? What kind of individual differences? Behavior also varies from one person to the other, as well as from one group of people to the other group of people. People differ in their physiological and biological bodily conditions, past experiences, in their abilities, in their background, etc. It is therefore natural that if 10 people are put in the same situation, each person, each person's behavior differs from that of others in some respect or in some degree. Behavior also shows similarity. Though behavior differs from person to person, but this does not mean that all people differ from all others. For instance, if a particle of dust falls on a person's eye, he she tries to remove it. This type of behavior is universally found. Behavior is also purposeful and goal directive. Behavior is changeable to a large extent. How? By learning, conditioning. It shows stability and is integrated. Now we will try to understand the historical development of psychology. The origin of psychology dates back to 1870s. The term psychology is derived from two Greek words. Psyche, that means soul, and logos, means knowledge of the study, knowledge or study. The word psychology was not in common use before the 19th century, and the field of psychology did not actually become an independent science until the middle of the 19th century. Psychology emerged as an independent academic discipline in 1879 when a German professor, Wilhelm Wundt, established the first psychology laboratory at the University of Leipzig, Germany. Wundt was a medical doctor by training and early in his career, he was fortunate to work with some of the great physiologists of the 19th century. The intellectual roots of psychology lie at the union of philosophy and physiology. Wundt is traditionally recognized as the founder or the father of modern psychology. The year of 1879 was a very important year. It was a remarkable year when psychology finally emerged as a unique field. 
Prior to Wundt, it was not possible to major in psychology. Wundt started the study. He started studying the structure of mind. What is the structure of mind? Which refer to the immediate experiences. Immediate is the conscious experiences. Experiences which we are aware of. The content and the processes of subjective experiences, such as sensation, thoughts, feelings, and emotions. So formally, psychology was recognized as an independent science in the year 1879. Psychology as a science. Why psychology is a science? Why do we say it is a science of behavior? Science is like physics, chemistry, bio, biology, or zoology. But why psychology is a science? So now we need to understand the definition of science. What is the definition of science? Why do we say that psychology is a science? What is science? Science is a systematic, systematic body of knowledge gathered through carefully observing and measuring events. Information, something which can be measured, something which can be verifiable. Um, it has to be systematic observation. It is an approach of knowledge based on systematic observation. The sole aim of science is to classify, understand, and unify the objects and phenomena of the material world. And what are the characteristics of science? Empirical observation. Like other uh, disciplines of science, the discipline of psychology rests on experiment and observation rather than experiment, rather than argument opinion or belief, systematic approach and theory. The data from observation and experiment are essential to science in order to make some sense out of something. The scientist tries to find a limited number of principles which summarize the data economically. Like other scientific uh, theory, psychology also follows a systematic procedure of observation, data collection, analysis and interpretation. Measurement. Science measures data from different sources. Distinguishing features can be measured, defined as assignment of number two objects, events according to certain rules. Physics is ranked the highest among the sciences as it has developed the most precise measurements. So psychology is characterized under the youngest group of scientific inquiry, the social and behavioral sciences. This group of science are called the physical sciences, which include subjects like physics, chemistry, etc. So to understand it better, the psychology was defined and the nature and nature was also explained. Thank you for today. Thank you.